think we are well the fuck overdue. Hello, everybody in chat. And by everybody in chat, I mean Neo Phantom and nobody else. How are you doing tonight? How how was your weekend? Did you uh did you do anything productive? I well, I mean aside from uh getting all this together, uh no no I didn't. But, uh, I I can pretend I did something. Doing good? Alright. <clears throat> Alright. We will all be doing good in a moment. Because. Let me just. Okay. And, uh, full screen cam. There we go. It is time. It is, it is a wonderful time. It is time for the Wheel of Rums! <laughs> you like the music? I literally just added this one. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, how the fuck are we gonna do this? Cause it's not showing up in my uh, front end. Hmm. Shit, I didn't think this through. Um. Let's see. Let's actually we'll do another spin. Uh, cause it's kind of messy, so I can't really do like what I was planning to do. We'll do another spin. Quick share, spending time with your girlfriend. I'm th th that's wonderful. That is just wonderful. All right, CDTV. Oh man. Uh, well, we didn't get. We might not be doing Windows, but we are doing Windows on steroids. Uh, CDTV, the... Um, so, I think a lot of... I, I think people might know about the CD32, uh, mainly because the nerd has done a video on that one. I think less people know about the CDTV, the failed predecessor to the CD32. Uh, basically, it is this. So it is the CDTV, I believe. Yeah. The CDTV was essential, or the CD32 was essentially a consoleized Amiga A1200 with a CD drive. Uh, Amigas did not typically have CD drives. I think they might have a like really late on but by the time this came out they didn't so if you wanted amiga games with cd audio this was kind of the best way to do it and the only way to do it as far as i'm aware um basically however this was an evolution on the cd tv which was a consoleized a500 um so uh typically my understanding, basically, is, like, typically if you had, like, an Amiga game and it let you pick between music or sound, it didn't let you have both, uh, that was... My understanding is that was sort of a limitation of the 500. The later Amiga games that were written for 1200 models uh, did not have such a restriction. Anyway, uh, a lot of the games on here were very multimedia focused, uh, kind of going after the whole like CDI sort of market. Uh, but there were games for this. There were like actual games for this, which I will play hopefully right now. Uh, World Vista. This might not be a game. Well, let's see. If it's multimedia and entertaining enough, uh, I suppose it doesn't matter what it is. Whoa. 
World Vista. This is going to be some multimedia shit, I think. Let's see if it at least has, like, wacky effects or something. Oh, yep. This is edutainment, baby. Uh, countries? Or we might just... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to switch this over. Oops. I love it when the uh, Steam Deck does that. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, so it does seem like it uses the mouse... Uh, countries? I'm going to try and reset this, and if it doesn't work, then we will move on to something else. This looks kind of boring anyway, so, uh... Hey, Alkin, uh, it's going pretty well, I think. Let's move on to something else. Uh... Assassin's 3. Oh, this might actually be a game. The Ultimate Games CD. Oh, shit. Pack it in every other game CD. This is the ultimate one. There will never be another one as good as this. I am hyped as hell. This is the Ultimate Gaming CD, guys. Are you ready? I, I don't think you can handle this. Well, we got the Eurobeat, so that's already pretty ultimate. What? Is this fucking... Is this solitaire? Oh, yeah, this is, this is like an entertainment pack of some kind. All right. Board games. Okay, yeah, cards and quiz games. Shoot 'em up games. Miscellany. Oh, shit, this is like... This is like the CDTV's Action 52. Holy shit. Oh, this might be... This might be hella good. Okay, shoot him up. We got Alien Bash. Uh, yeah, this is entirely just a shareware collection, I believe. What the hell is an Oh my god, angst? Oh, this has to be fun. This has to be funny, come on. Alright, let's get angsty. Layer your Lincoln Park CDs.
Dude, it is so dark right now, I can barely contain my angst. Oh! Oh shit, it's Doom! Oh man, you know what? I need to show off at some point the, uh... <laughs> the We Have Doom at Home edition of, uh... of Doom. Actually, this is this probably isn't Doom. In fact, in fact, I think this is just like a dungeon crawler. Yeah, we do not have. Uh... Um. All right. Yeah, this is just dungeon crawler. to reset every time. Well, no music during the game, but we do get some nice Euro beats, and really, what more can you ask for? Oh, wait a second. Workbench screen or games menu? Oh, okay, I see. Workbench screen. I don't know what that is. Check that all software is freely distributed. Oh, copyright bullshit. Okay. Click the Q button. Okay. Well, that's useful. more. I want something that isn't angst. Oh, well now we don't have music. Okay, cool. Oh. Abacus. Okay. Let's restart this and then... Oh, you know what? I wonder if... So the CDTV had like some... I think it had like some ROM issues in the internal BIOS. So sometimes shit like this would happen where if you reset it enough, um, it would just glitch out. And I think that's what happened. What the fuck? Stand by me? Let's get out. Comes down. Mm. 
is the only lie you'll see. So it has different music tracks, including Stand By Me for some reason. ends okay well this is I, I've, I've had my fun we saw we saw a bit of angst and I guess that's really all uh, anybody could really ask for and uh, that's all you're gonna get realistically all right um let's see I got a couple requests uh, I was should I wait until now I'm gonna wait until some more people come in um, let's do, Croon Con, uh, Conquest. This is, um, a game, I think I found about it through, oh, who was it? Um, I wrote it down, it was, oh, Austin Eruption. Ah, uh, he's kind of like uh, another Stryka, um, somebody who kind of makes their presence on YouTube known by showing obscure video games, and this is one of them. This is Croon Contest, which I believe uh, was significant because he, uh, because it was essentially a Mega Man ripoff. Uh, one of many, but I believe this one was especially blatant. I don't remember if it was Europe exclusive. It might have been. I think it was. Or maybe not. Maybe it was Japan? I want to find this game. Actually, it might have been Japanese, now that I think about it. It might not have come out in the U.S., and that's why we never heard of it. Okay, I guess I don't have it for some reason. All right. Um, you know what? I should... Okay, I'm... Actually, I will go back to the CD32, because I do want to show off Gloom. Just because it's just, like... How can I not? So, picture this. You have an Amiga CD32, or you have an Amiga in general... Because uh, I do believe this was just released on, like, a floppy disk without the CD audio. But the problem with the Amiga is there's this new up-and-coming game that's taking the PC nation by storm called Doom. However, um, you, with your Amiga, don't have Doom. But that's okay, because you have Gloom. We have Doom at home, and it is just as good. Actually, it's not too bad. Rhythm, Thief, and the Empire's Treasure 3 Yes, Hunter. Um, yeah, it's going to be one I'll have to play uh, next week because downloading Amiga is 
or uh, downloading 3DS games is going to be a challenge. If I do get my own gaming PC, that will be kind of a benefit. But anyway, this is Gloom. Uh, totally not derivative of anything at all. Oh yeah, that's right. It like plays in like a window, but you can basically alter it to be full screen. And as far as I can tell, Yeah, you can, like, turn parts of the graphics on and off. So you can have, like, a low-poly floor or a textured floor. Uh, ceiling, you can adjust that. Oh, or you could just have no ceiling. Uh, full screen room, in-room size. Wait. Yeah, in-room size. Or, yeah, okay, full screen. Uh, resolution on. I don't actually know what that does. I don't know. Full screen in room. Let's do that. All right, so here we go. This is Gloom, a uh, totally original game, not derivative of anything whatsoever. You like it? Such a pretty uh, revolutionary concept. Uh, shame those bastards at id Software stole it, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Plagiarism is uh, the sincerest form of flattery, I suppose. I don't know if you get any other guns. Um, you do get more bullets, obviously. Uh, oh, you do have strafe. That's good. If you press L and R, I don't know. Did the four have? I didn't think the C six. Uh, the uh, CD thirty two had trigger buttons. So, I don't know how you would have straight otherwise. And I am dead. Maybe it did. It must have had trigger buttons. It was a very... If you've never seen the CD32 controller, by the way, it is very bizarrely shaped. It's almost... It, it looks like it should be upside down. Uh, but obviously it is not. Oh, actually, I think the uh, demons stay dead uh, when you die, which is pretty cool. A uh, stark improvement over absolutely nothing, because again, original IP. Please do not steal. Oh. Hell yeah.
again though, like you see, like I don't know why it's uh why it starts in a window like this. Presumably because well, I guess presumably because like this might be able to run on a five hundred machines and they might not have had like the same horsepower as the a twelve hundred one. Um, so the nice thing about, uh, hypothetically, if there were a game called Doom, uh, the nice thing about that would be that, uh, generally speaking, uh, oh, oh, well, we beat the level, but the nice thing about Doom is that the, uh, areas tend to look very, don't tend to look very similar. Uh, not a case, not the case with uh, good old gloom here. Uh, it is very easy to get lost in these very simplistic looking uh, areas. Oh, no. I do admire how, like, uh, like, they don't bleed, but they do, like, fall into little pieces, which is arguably even more gory. Or, uh, not gory, but, like, arguably even more, like, primally violent. Because you're just literally, like, blowing them away. Hi, ENC. Yep, it's gloom, exactly. Yeah, Doom 2 is scarier, but I mean, you know, look, I joke, but if you had a Commodore Amiga, this would not be the worst alternative to Doom. Nothing, it seems. Oh, you do get uh, weapon upgrades. Okay. Uh, doesn't seem to actually do a whole lot. So, uh, just makes a different pew noise. Oh, no, no, okay, never mind, it is good. Makes a different pew noise and kills the enemies faster. Uh, now, Doom also well-renowned for its, uh... Doom also well-renowned for its, uh, you know, rock metal soundtrack. Uh, of course, everybody has their favorite Doom song. Uh, this goes the extra step by having no music whatsoever, uh, forcing you to put on your own. So, you know, uh, you, you, if you are not a fan of the uh, Doom soundtrack, uh, you then have the ability to put on your own music. Okay, I'm done with this now. Uh, all right. Karumi's here, so let's honor some of his requests. Uh, first, let's start with... Uh, Demi Kids for Game Boy Advance. I have no idea what this is. I just saw him posting it in my Discord, and uh, we will find out what it is together. Except he probably already knows because he's the one who requested it. Demon Driver, hell yeah. Oh, there's Demi Kids dark version or light version. Um, 
I think this is the one he specifically requested. So we will do light version. Oh, uh, is this going to be a Pokemon like? Oh, yeah, it's an RPG. Oh, this is an existing IP, I think, because it says it dates back to 2000. This is going to be a Pokemon like, it looks like. Light and Dark Mark. One Fate, okay. If it's going to auto advance anyway, I'm just going to dialogue skip. Oh, yes, it works. Okay. Uh, probably not really useful in this case, because it doesn't even let you have a whole lot of text on screen at a time, but cool that uh, the translator now works on Steam Deck. Or, uh, well, it always worked. I just didn't set it up properly. At this rate... We'll never stop Empress. Like an imp Empress? Cool. Without the powers of both light and dark, Valhalla is doomed! Oh, hell yeah, we're... We're in, uh, we're in Valhalla. Oh, shit. Did you want the dark version? Okay. Oh, Atlas. Hell yeah. I didn't think there was a major difference, but we can do this. Actually, I don't think there is a major difference. I think it's literally like Pokemon, where there's like two versions of the same game. What is it, Boria? Oh, actually, these might be two totally different games. So it's maybe like it's like a Zelda, like those Zelda games on uh, Game Boy Color, where it's, what was it, like... Uh, what was it, Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of... Um, I don't remember... Where it's like, it's like Pokemon, but they're two totally different games that can be played in whichever order you want. Lord Lucifer! Forgive me! Oh, I... You know what? I'm realizing now. So, I see what this is. So, I think this might be, like, from the point of view of Hell, and this is from the... And the other one is from the point of view of Valhalla, or Heaven. I bear bad news. It's unbearable! Hey, this is an Atlas game. They dared me to do it. If it's about the time rift that appears in Dem. Oh shit, I forgot to turn on my, uh, my bot. It's probably not gonna work because... Yeah, it's uh, not going to work probably as well uh, if I have OBS open before the Mix It Up bot, but we will see. So it first started 
back as Black Book and Red Book in 2000 for GBC in Japan. It's popular in Japan with this series. It got a cartoon show, but the West didn't. Okay. Demi-kids, more like Satan kids. Yeah, exactly. I am aware of it! Oreo. I thought you would be. If you do know that, if the rift goes unchecked, all will end. You speak! You speak of the prophecy! I know it well! When the fabric of time is torn... Of time... Oh, yeah. Tomorrow shall fade! The prophecy also mentions children. CHILDREN! Oh, I love children! I must know, Boreal. Find out if the prophecy holds true. If there's hope, find it. As you wish, my lord. Such is life. So I guess that's what the 2000 on the copyright stream is reference is a reference to the uh, original games on Game Boy Color. Trippy. I am Norm! Oh wait. No, it's Norn. Okay. The Keeper of Fate. Destiny's Guide. Your destiny calls. But before you decide what path you take, you will require a name. What name does it give me by default? Um... Akira! Oh shit, yes. Akira. An interesting name. I suppose you're ready. Beyond this door, your destiny awaits. What, I only have to put in my name? I don't have to put in my birthday and zodiac sign? And blood type? Like a lot of these games? What game am I playing? I'm playing Demi... I am playing, uh... Demi Kids... Dark, yeah, uh, dark version. There's also a light version. So this takes place in the underworld, whereas the other game takes place in Valhalla. So it's, uh, you know, two different sides of the same coin, essentially.
a uh, concept that they totally did not uh, take from anywhere else, and a concept that is totally not... Well, I guess in this case, it's good. It's it, it's not Pokemon, where it's literally the same fucking game both times. Within our paths. Okay. This is on the GBA, yes. Hi to our new friend! Amy Kashinara. Hi! Please call me Amy. Pickle Amy. Amy, you can sit across from Akira. Akira, so nice to meet you. Huh? I see, so these are like... So it's like kids with like magical powers just sort of living amongst the mortals. Okay, class dismissed. All right, let's get out of here. Oh my god, he talks like L. Well, you do move uh, pretty fast just right out of the get-go, so that's cool. New girl, so cute. I hear you like to check out mysterious things with Jin and Lena. Okay, so that's probably something I'll have to do soon. Mom ain't gonna like my test scores. Hi, Akira. We need to talk. Lena says she's found something unusual. That's right. I found a book about demons in the school library. Oh shit! We need to tell the uh, we need to tell the state of Florida. Ban that shit immediately. You're kidding. A book about demons? I knew it! The minute I mention anything about demons, Jin's eyes light up. He knows something. He's, uh, he's one to, <clears throat> he's one to, uh, keep an eye on. I was in the library, looking for a book. 
That's when I found it! You won't believe what's inside! It's got a real spell for something, for summoning a demon. You're telling me this book's in the library? Akira. A book about demons! Let's check it out! You recommend Final Fantasy Tactics on the Game Boy Advance? Is that different than the PS1 game? Did I just hear you talking? Did I just hear you talking about... Summoning demons? Whoa! Who's this? Her name is Amy. She's new in school. Did I hear you right? You want to summon demons? In real life, nobody would take this shit seriously, by the way. Like, no kid at least. They would be like, uh, summoning demons? Yeah, that's bullshit. Well, why not? Have you ever seen one? If I had the chance, I'd take it in a second. That's what our little group is all about. Challenging the unknown. If you're interested, you're welcome to join in. Sounds like fun. Count me in. Aw, poor new kid. He's just join she's just joining in because like she just wants to belong to something. Great! Jin, Akira. See you in the library. Also, like... I feel like they're swapping the N with an M. Like these... Like Norm... Like Norn should be Norm. Jin should probably be Jim. I don't know. Don't be late! Otherwise... I might just summon a demon myself. Come on, Amy. Let's go. Akira. Let's talk about this in the library, okay? what that means. Okay. Um, no map. Okay, so I will get a map. Oh, 
Okay, I assume, so I guess it's already equipped. Fair enough. The wall has a demon lab and other strange shops. Maybe be weird. Way too weird for me. The mall is not a place for children. Do you understand, Akira? Oh, yeah, I totally understand. All right, let's go to it. a lot of good things about this game. I mean, you're a Pokemon fan. This seems not entirely divorced from that, con uh, that concept. Let's go get our Satan on at the mall! Hell yeah! Hurt, come see me, okay? Found mana juice, all right. That's strange. I could have sworn it was on that bookshelf. Someone took it. Sister Akira, I haven't seen you in a while. Akira! The demon book! It's gone! Let's find it!
Akira, what are you looking for? The demon bug that we found here is gone. Oh, that book? It was so unusual that I held on to it. You can take it if you want to read it. Leave it. I don't want it. Well, then I'll keep it right here. Okay. Well, here you go. That's the demon book. Good job, Akira. I mean, if there's two versions of basically the same game, immediately I'm thinking of Pokemon. That come out at the same time, I mean. Next, a wolf-like demon who guards the gates of hell. Jin is in a world of his own. He gets that way when it comes to demons. Whoa! What's this? You're kidding me! Akira! Check this out! This shows you how to summon a demon! You're right! Jim, want to give it a try? This is so cool! Exciting, too! Are you thinking about summoning a demon? You need special powers for that. If you have those powers, that would mean... Powers? What are you talking about, Amy? What kind of power do you need to summon demons? There's danger in summoning demons. No shit, really? A summoned demon might attack you. Or, you know, like, attack someone else. Or just, you know... Maybe we don't need more demonic possession uh, on this earth. Maybe. Maybe there's enough demonic shit on here already, perhaps. Uh, you know, within Congress and things like that. A demon attack? If that happens, we'll just have to fight. Do we have any experience doing that? Hell no. Jin, we're really... We're ready. Let's try it. The two boys cannot uh, chant the words to summon a demon. Kyuga ka lika ref ahi mia. We summon you to appear. BEFORE US! NOW! Oh no! A demon! Oh, also, hello, well. We are, uh, currently playing Demi Kid's Dark Version, as requested by Karumi. What the? 
Something just flashed! Be careful, everyone! Something's coming! Nah, it's probably fine. As soon as I, uh... Yep, uh... As soon as we're talking about summoning demons, uh, LCX shows up. I think that says something. Gargoyle is my name! That's very generic of you. Who dares to summon me from my home? Could it be you? You pitiful humans! I come all this way from Valhalla Wait. to find myself summoned by kids! I mean, kids, who are the real demons here? Now, a real de- Wow! A real demon! No kidding! This is unbelievable! Watch out! Jin, I think Amy might have been right. What the fuck did you think was gonna happen, kids? Alright. Gargoyle from Valhalla. That's a demon of the Imperium. Why is it here? Well, if it isn't Amy, oh shit. Fleeing Valhalla and hiding here. I wonder where you disappeared to. But here you are. You saved me a lot of trouble by summoning me. And now you're mine. Oh shit. What are you doing? Listen up, big and ugly. You've got yourself a vicious attitude problem. What the fuck? If you think you can simply drop in and attack us, think again. You annoying brat! If you're seeking to anger me? You've succeeded. Come here, you! You're mine! Fuck yeah, fighting the deep. said let me go what did you think was gonna happen dude if you want this brat to live 
you'll return with me to Valhalla. Lena! Jin, you've got to help Lena. Darn! What are you supposed to do? Akira, Jin, take these! Use items against the demons. Hurry! Use the Dominic. Save Lena. Are you the one who summoned me? Wait, Gail? A demi kid, eh? Part demon, part brat, human. Demi kid, just my luck. But then again, I've always liked a challenge. All right, here we go. Set it to auto, I guess. Yay! Ninety and eighty mecha game. Five XP game. Okay. Debbie kids! You're too late. This would... This world has no future. You got that right. With an active time rift, your world is doomed! Demi-kid powers have awa awakened. Amy, I have a feeling you know something. No shit. Akira and Jin both have demi-powers. No idea what's going on. Basically, some, uh, Basically, some kids uh, opened up a spell book and summoned a demon, and we just fought the demon. And that's really all you need to know. Using the demi, the demi lock, summoned their allies. Triggering their late demi kid powers. You knew this was going to happen. You knew this and gave them a demi lock. Chill out, Lena. Dude. <sighs> Using the demi lock was our choice anyway. 
Yeah, Lena. If I had to do it again, I would. The gargoyle mentioned something. A rift. A time rift. If that's a fact... Oh my. No! Where's she going? Didn't that thing say something about... There being no future? He better follow her. We better follow her. Let's go! Okay. By the way, do you want to give me a nickname? I've got a couple of friends that can help. I'll save here. This is a pretty cool game so far. All right. Um, all right, so I got a couple of 3DS games that uh, I've been requested. Let's just uh, do the... Oh, shit. This is where the Windows games are. Okay. Huh. So that did actually work. Oh, I could have used that in the... Anyway, uh, where is, oh, where are my, uh, 3DS games? Shit. I'm going to do something real quick. Oh, is it? Okay, some... Yeah. I see what you were asking about. Where is my... Keyboard, I forgot. Ah, got it. Okay.
All right. So it is there. Actually, here's what we can, what we can uh, do while here's something we can do while uh, this is loading. This emulation station is going to take a while to load in the background anyway. See what it did. Okay. And okay. I'm verifying installation. What's this? Um, oh shit, this might be... Give us a second. Oh, I see. It's. Oh, wait, no. I don't want to create it in the loop, actually. Let's see. This could be a problem. Ah, here we go. Crisis averted. Here we go, extracting package. Launching Steam. Cool. Oh, there was an update. That's what it was. Okay. Oh, actually, I do need to go back to the desktop mode so that it reads the hard drive. And then we can do something else while emulation station is loading because it's going to take a minute. All right. 
right, and there we go. All right, did you edit? Now we can go back to Steam. And yeah, while it's doing that, that's gonna take a little while, we can do this. So this is a new demo for a game that just came out. It is Rugrats Adventures in Game Land. Um, I've seen like maybe a couple episodes of the Rugrats many years ago. Uh, normally I would not be that interested in this game. However, there is something uh, later, if, if you haven't seen it already, on Eugene's stream, uh, or Eugene's video, that I think is very interesting. First of all, this looks like a pretty just fun game as a whole. Uh, it is kind of like a 2D puzzle platformer, sort of, with a sort of retro aesthetic. So, to start out with, you have two moves. You have... You have this, which, uh... I don't know if I particularly like the fact that, uh... I, I mean, like, that soft spot on his head is still kind of developing. Uh, I, I feel like that doing this too many times is probably going to kill uh, this baby, which I forget his name. I know one of them is Chucky. Uh, there's Angelica, the uh, bitch. Um, there's uh, Scrappy-Doo, and then there's uh, Saddam. Alright, I, I think I got that right. Oh, you can jump on it. Okay, you can jump on them. <clears throat> oh my god, and then you can throw them over your head. That's adorable. I mean, that's fucked beyond belief, but it's still cool. That's not something I would have expected in a game like this, where you can just, like, stun people and throw them over your head. Also, you're a little baby while you do it. I do like games, uh... Oh, I see. I do like games that kind of, like, play around with scale like this. Uh, that's always pretty clever, just from an artistic uh, point of view, in my opinion. There's person, or what is that? Oh, you have to, oh, that's, you have to make like a leap of faith jump, it looks like. Oh, what the fuck, what did I do? Oh, never mind.
Oh, I see. You can just crawl under it. So you can be... Who is this? Oh, that one's Tommy. Okay. That one is Chucky. There's Phil? I didn't know that's what his name was. Phil and Lil. And Tommy. Okay, where's... What the fuck? Wait. I can't be Angelica? What the fuck? I want to be the bitchy one. Alright, I'll be Chucky. Chucky's, like, the cowardly one, I think. This is... Oh, yeah, Angelica's probably the final boss, that's why. Oh, they all play the same, I think. Anyway. I'm not gonna play a whole lot of that, because... This is not... This is not the coolest thing. All right. Well, that finished loading, but I'm not gonna uh, go to that yet. The cool thing about this, if you haven't seen uh, Eugene's video, first of all, I gotta, actually, All right. Cool thing about this is that if we go to load content, uh, go into Steam apps, and it's under common. I had to do this uh, before stream just to make sure it actually worked. If you go into the game files for Rugrats Adventures in Gameland demo, it comes with an NES demake. Now, I can only... I've never seen this happen before, where it just has like an NES demake as a thing. The only games I can think of that have, like, official, like, retro D-makes are... Well, the only one I can think of is Infernax. Um, I think there might have also been one for Garbage Pail Kids, although I don't know if that was just an NES game or if there was, like, uh, like a better graphics version of it. But, uh, yeah, there is an official NES D-make. Uh, sanctioned by Nickelodeon and everything. Uh, and if you go through limited run games, you can get this. Uh, well, you will be able to get the full version of this and uh, the Steam game through limited run games on an actual NES cartridge. Uh, you can get the NES cartridge and then you also get a download key for the Steam ROM. And as far as I can tell, this is pretty much the same game, uh, just demade to be an NES game. Okay, that looks sick as hell. Also, it sounds sick as hell, uh, being like an 8-bit rendition of this. Also, hello, Cerulean.
So, I mean, it plays pretty much the same as far as I can tell. But it's just so cool that they even did this. Like, why... Oh, wait, you can switch between them, like, mid-game. I think Chucky may be a little bit faster? I don't know. I don't really know if any of them have, like, special powers, or maybe it's just, like, which one you like as a kid is the one you can pick. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you probably could with the other version. Well, no, you can do that with the other version. I just didn't realize that when I was playing it. Um, I haven't really played either of these games, uh, at all. I think this bit might be... Oh. No, that room was... original. I think there might be, like, some slight differences. Oh, I see. So it just kills the enemies, uh... In this version. I think this version might be slightly different owing... Although I think that's mostly owing to, uh... Like, graphical limitations and things like that. Um... It seems like level layout is slightly different on the NES version, which is kind of cool. Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, if you ground... If you ground pound, it just kills the enemy outright, but if you, uh, just jump on it like normal, you can pick it up and throw it. You can pick them up and throw them. I guess this is the same level layout, maybe. Maybe slightly different? I don't know. Oh, okay. I see. Rom rats. This is just so cool. Like, there were a couple, like, officially licensed D makes uh, over the years. Um, most notably was that uh, McDonald's Game Boy Color game. But, uh, I mean, like, that wasn't like a. It's not like that was like a. De uh, like, an official. What is it? It's not like it was like you know, part of, like, a bigger, more graphically impressive game, and it was just, like, a hidden demo or anything. It was just the game, which, you know, I thought that was cool. Having this as, like, a little Easter egg hidden inside the file system of an existing game is just, it's just so cool, I think. Honestly, the strangest thing, too, is that Having the ROM, having it like this, just like the ROM hidden inside the game, it kind of encourages emulation, which is something that I would not expect from a major company like Nickelodeon. Uh, that is just very strange. 
but you know, I, I uh, especially like you know, like it, uh, considering like what's going on in the news right now. But I'm definitely not complaining. Oh, you can... wait. Oh, you can, like, pick things up. Like, in, uh... You can just dig, like, in Mario 2. Okay. Okay, maybe... You have to go, uh, somewhere else, maybe. Or, actually, wait, no. Oh, never mind. I don't think there was anything there anyway, but still. Also, the music definitely... Uh, part of the uh, Tim Fallen school of music creation. Also, there's just a desert inside their, or uh, a desert with cacti inside their house. Uh, I definitely don't remember that from the uh, show, but uh, seems like something they probably should have mentioned. cry when you get a game over. That seems pretty on brand. Oh, also, I see. So, like, so it's like the Ninja Turtles, where, where like, when you die, uh, that character's just taken out of commission. Alright. Oh, yeah. Of course, practice is gonna hurt you. Oh, he can... Oh, he can, like, mega ground pound. Okay, that's cool. Like, not only is this here, it's, like, really fucking good, too. Like, imagine... Imagine if this was, like, an actual NES game that came out at the time. Like, this would kind of be... This would be one of those games that goes for, like, $2,000. Like, loose. You know what I mean? Like, this is, like, one of those that, like, nobody but, like, the craziest people and Karumi would buy. Also, just like all the animations and stuff, you didn't see that on uh, NES games very often. Uh, do I have to restart it from the beginning? It looks like it. 
This is just so cool. Like, I, 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 I don't have, like, a whole lot to say about this. It's just evident. It's just, I think, just self-evident how cool this is. How, like, this is apparently... This has just become so mainstream. This has just become, like, so mainstream that, like, Nickelodeon and shit are getting in on it, you know? Hey, Katsu. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Bonk is a very good comparison. Um, yeah, no, but this is like an officially licensed D-make. Like, Katsu. Like, the thing that's cool about this is this is like running on an emulator. And it came with the demo for like a much bigger and better game. I mean, it kind of depends on, like, how much you like platformers, how much you're gonna like this game, obviously. But I just think it's really cool that this even exists at all. Anyway, I just wanted to show that because it's just, like, just, it, it's, it's a good game, but more so, it's just cool that it exists at all. Anyway. Um, actually. Yeah. So, let's see if I can uh, find the 3DS. I don't know. What the hell? All right, maybe I need to just reopen RetroArch then. Because I have a couple of 3DS games that I've been requested. Especially one that I think you guys are all going to be pretty excited for. Um, yeah, so, let's go here. And I have a game that I think y'all are going to be pretty excited for. And this is the emulator, I believe, that runs properly. Yep, here we go. Or the one that runs the best, at least. So I know nothing about this game other than it be- Time Soft? That name sounds familiar. 
Well, first of all, whoa. I didn't know it fucked with the resolution. Okay. Um. What is it mapped to to uh, swap screens? Okay. Oh, I see how that works. Okay. Actually, it seems like... I'm just going to go back to it being double screen anyway, just because... One, it seems like it's running worse that way, and also, yeah, I don't know how to swap the screens easily. It doesn't run great, by the way, uh, Citra. Uh, but this actually is about as well as it's going to run on my Steam Deck. Wait. Oh, I could have picked a different character, I think. Oh, well. Oh, it's a generic 3D. Oh, well. This has been Karu memed. Oh, they didn't even translate it? Okay. I just know about it from the Karu meme. I'm just interested in playing the game and seeing what it is. Problem with 3DS games is you need to decrypt them, too. So, like, I need to, I have, like, a thing, like, a script on my PC, and I have to, like, put it in a folder and decrypt all the games using that script. Whoa. Is the background supposed to be this plane? Oh, did I die? 
It does have easy dialogue skipping, so I understand why Karumi likes it. Oh, wait, okay. Oh, this is, like, overworld? Okay. Do I care what the story is in SK? Should I? Yeah, this is like a 2D beat em up. I assume. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. In fact, uh. In fact, I think L is sort of kind of confirming it. Uh, the Vita game is more. possibly more 3D. Amusingly, SK has a story that takes itself very seriously. Oh, shit, okay. Well, I can't play the Vita game because I have no idea how to emulate the Vita. I've tried so many times and I can't get it to actually, like, load a game. Maybe I need to, like, if I get a more powerful PC, maybe I need to, like, try it on the PC to see if I can get it working better. Definitely it's something LCX would be able to help me with a lot more. Or would be better equipped at helping me with. Yeah, take the story takes itself very seriously, but you can really easily skip it, so fair enough. I have to admit, I'm kind of with L. The gameplay itself is so far pretty, like, kind of boring and generic. I think, like, a lot of the appeal is just hot anime girl. Which, if you're into that, that's fine, I guess. Beyond that, though, like, I would rather just play, like, Double Dragon Neo or literally any other beat em up. Like, would Scott Pilgrim have existed by this point? I think so. Oh, I found desperation move. Yeah, this is, uh, as, uh, Elle would say, very mid, I would say. It's not bad, it's just, I can think of, like, so many games that do this, but better. It is, like, on a 2D plane. I would have to imagine, like, the later Vita games are more advanced than this. Uh, probably, like, full 3D perhaps. Uh, probably have more moves. Maybe I would enjoy those more, but this just seems... You know what, though? This does seem... I, I... This feels like... This totally just feels like a weaker version of an existing game. Did I just infinitely respawn? 
What is the wind mechanic of this? Actually, this reminds me a lot of, like, the, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game on SNES. And, if I'm being totally honest, I still think I would rather play that. Um, even then, it at least has, like, the ability to morph into, you know, other people. Or, like, morph into Power Rangers, and it has, like, platforming elements. It seems like there's more to it. Oh, wait. Can I? No, I can't. Oh, is Yuri in this game? Is that another? Is that, like, also where... I wonder if I should have played it. I wonder if I could have played as her, then. Now I can move 3D. Okay. Stick doesn't like work too well with uh, going up and down in this late space for some reason.
Afford. I want to see if I can play as someone else. Something more Karumi worthy. Oh, there's also what is this? Run. Okay. Oh wait, there's... I see, these are different stories, maybe? I don't know. Let's try this. This is the other thing. I think this is a different character, and also this character is kind of better in every single way. Yeah, this is like an entirely different- Okay, so there's like two different episodes, I guess, of this. Quickly pressing A, okay. saying Pornhub. Pornhub. Hey, she knows her destiny. It's fine. I see you transform. Okay. 
Oh, so you do get a transform move, so it is like Power Rangers. You transform into super low lady. Ah, oh, shit. Now we're talking, baby. If the, if the Vita game is this but better, maybe I would enjoy the Vita game. This kind of seems a little bit generic, if I'm being totally honest. Oh, this is the first one in more of a 2D based beat em up, 2D plane than 3D roaming. Okay. I see. So, like, the uh, 3D one has a little bit more. The beat em up one has uh, a bit more, like, exploration elements. I think I would like that. Okay. Actually, I think I would really like that. That sounds really nice. So it's not like entirely linear. Essentially is what I think you're saying. Okay. By pressing L and R. A mission. As a mission starts. You can also hold A to dash, it seems like. Let me see something. I wonder why uh, thumbstick. Oh, Nintendo 3. Okay, that's... Okay, well, I can move with stick now, but I don't think it's analog, so... How do I end this? Oh. 
Well, I did it somehow. It's just Dynasty Warriors with anime girls and longer combos. Okay. I mean, this exists, I guess. It's allowed to exist, I think. Unless they've outlawed that. Um, I have some other uh, 3DS games that I want to look at, but I'm going to save those for a bit. I got some 360 games uh, as well, though. Uh, both from the same series. So, I didn't know which one was better, Excellent or Gorgeous. Um, oh, let's play Excellent, because that one is going to be, like, translated into American. Also, may not work. Oh, that's... Huh. Oh, do I not... Do I not have Xenia installed? Should. Just launch Zenia. Does this work? Let's give it a minute. Oh, select. I don't know. I think this might not work. Yeah, it... Well, also, uh, I think Xenia is a little bit hit or miss on the Steam Deck. It's not actually, uh, written for Linux specifically. I think it has to run through Proton, so there could be compatibility issues with that. Uh, actually, let me try one last thing. Try running it in desktop mode, if that does anything.
on my computer? Um, geez, Elements probably the D drive. Yes, it is. Okay. Why is it not opening my folder? Oh, there we go. Aha! Here we fucking go. Can I run this in post game? Here we go. And it runs pretty good. This is the one that was released in America. The other one, I guess, was Japan only, from what I can tell. Yes, please. I don't know why it wasn't working in uh, Steam mode, but we got this, I guess. I wonder if that was the problem with the uh, Rumble Roses, the one that Ketsu wanted me to play a while ago. Oh, I was able to play the PS2 version, as far as I can tell. It's probably about the same. Normal, sure. Yes. 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 No audio? Oh. Uh, this should be audio. It might just be quiet. Testing. Okay. Yeah, there is audio. It's just so quiet that you can't hear. Okay. Here, you should be able to hear it now. Just really quiet. I think I'm missing the later.
Let's try the other one. See if that works. I don't know which one it wants. Try this. Oh shit, well wait. Actually, I should probably close this. And reopens it now. This does not seem like... Yeah, this is not the most reliable emulator in the world. I mean, the fact that it works at all... And, and I, I have had some pretty decent experience with it. Um, like I said, like, like you've seen, like, I've been able to play, uh, you know, things like Call of Duty 3 on this just fine. So it's just very hit or miss on what it is and isn't going to actually work with. Um, I mean, it, it, it probably is, like, trying for more mainstream games like Call of Duty... Uh, it's probably trying to focus on that first and foremost, because that's what most people would want to play, not whatever the fuck this is. Um, Try the other one, actually. The one that's like two gigabytes or whatever. Okay, this is the one that doesn't work.
here you go. That means this is either going to be really good or really disappointing. Uh, considering this is modern Konami, I guess we'll see if gameplay is going to Oh, yeah, that's right. Sixty game. It should support sixteen by nine. Okay, I think it's loading something. Oh, oh, it's the arcade version, so it plays in four by three. I see. This one, hang on. I'm determined to get this one working. It's four by three. The M2, okay. You can save state, that's cool. Well, this one is in my recents now, so it should actually work. I'm gonna try one last time to see if this will work.
I see. So there's different games in this collection, I think. Uh... Or... Is this actually asking if I want for my turn? Oh my god, we may have a game. There may be a game happening. <laughs> Also, yes, gorgeous mode is the wide screen. 
Yeah, exactly. We uh, this was a good transition because I'm also playing as a girl who's as big. Name is a dead boy. What's the excellence American box? Pretty much spelled it out from the legendary. Radius series. Oh shit, so it is Peru. So they don't even like hide the fact that it's Peru. Or now it's. Or I, I guess it is. Yeah, Perodius is harder. I mean, this has like unlimited. Actually, I guess it is just Radius still. So is, there, so is there any difference between, like, original mode and gorgeous mode besides, besides just being 4x3? Besides one by being 4x3? Oh, it's like a mix of Radius and Perodius, so it's not as, like, it's not as off-the-wall insane as Perodius, but it kind of doesn't take itself quite as seriously as Perodius. Not that Perodius took itself seriously. It took itself more seriously than Perodius. I mean, that is just like Konami, though. Make, like, a banger game and then not fucking promote it whatsoever, and then just, like, play the devs or it comes. Mission complete. この曲は深刻に受け止めないと次のミッションに向かってください。ジオルトゥイ、出ます。ヒストライゼム。Oh, that's. Our continues 
actually unlimited? I believe so.
を深刻に受け止めないと次のミッションに向かってください。physically cannot see, like, most of the enemies. Anyway, um... Yeah, that's... It, it's a fucking parade, a Parodius game that we didn't get, and the one that we did get was in no way advertised. Fuck you, Konami. First, oh, it's a remix of the first level in Gradius 1. Oh, interesting. Uh, I mean, we got excellent. That, that came out in America. That has a U.S. ROM. Anyway, um... <laughs> Let's play uh, the other 3DS games. So, something I found out is that on the... I, I think these were digital only, um, but on the 3DS eShop, there were, in the console's lifespan, at least two Mega Man-style games with anime girls as protagonists. 
I don't know if they are at all related or if it's just like two people had the same idea. So this is Legend of Dark Witch. Bottom? Okay, well that's not the bottom screen. Oh wait, oh wait, it is. Okay.
Somebody had this in the background of their video. Oh, this is on Steam. Okay. Just do auto. I did that.
can choose when you upgrade. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right, because the I had to switch this all the way up. Okay, got it. I might actually choose manual then. Or can I actually? Can I do it here? Ah, yes, I can. Button settings, jump settings. Camera settings? Distance. Oh, I can zoom it in? It doesn't zoom it in. I don't know what that is then. See. I see. So that's how that works. Unless, oh, does this become 3D at some point? I wonder if that's. I wonder if that's what it's saying.
Starsky? I don't even know what that is. I just... Gotcha Man PS1. Yes, I did. Um, you know what? Do I want to play that now? Yes. You know what? Let's play it now, because LCX specifically uh, wanted to see it. It's going to take a minute, but we can do that. I see that you played Starsky. I haven't actually watched any of your uh, gameplays of it, so I have no idea what that game is. I like this? Okay. I saw that it was... Well, it said Simple Character 2000. I'm aware of the Simple 1500 series. I have no idea if this is related. Actually, this is going to take a minute, so let's check out the other, uh, let's check out the other anime-style, uh, Mega Man game. Actually, I don't remember what it was called. Uh, uh, Castlevania. Ah, here we go. Gunvolt. Inti create. Oh shit. So it's literally So it's literally by people who were making Mega Man games. This has some pedigree behind it. Immediately way better auto fire. Whoa, look at it. It's 3D, dudes. creating a an actual Mega Man game, the first of which in like 20 years. dialogue removal button. So it is for Rumi approved.
Actually, I like that it has an auto fire option that's good. Because, like, not even Mega Man had that. It didn't have an auto fire option at all. So that makes this kind of better than Mega Man, arguably. Is it as good as Mighty Number no. 9, though? The answer is, of course, no. Nothing is as good as Mighty Number no. 9. Oh. Huh. I mean, I imagine that power is limited, but it's still cool, so I'll use it. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's a guy, so it's not... So, yeah, that's what I was saying. It's not, like... It's not anime girl.
Oh, the anime girls are supporting characters. Okay. Anyway. Both of those games are pretty good, I must say. Um, but let's play Gotcha Man. I think it's the full title from what I saw. I think it is Simple Character Series. Yeah, Simple Character 2000 Ninja Gotcha Man The Shooting. I think this is it. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm aware of the Simple 1500 series. Those, that's a series of budget PS1 games that, well, um, they were usually really basic and they cost 1500 yen. This, I assume, is like a similar concept. I don't know if it's the exact same series, though. Okay, Bondi. Oh, I can dash right. Okay. Two different localizations. Okay. Oh, so this was released in the U.S. Okay. It was localized as, uh... What did you say? Alright. Well, this is in English anyway, so I don't think it matters too much. Well, so much for it being in English. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Give me a moment. I'm gonna do something cool. Switch it over. If we switch it over to. Actually, I don't know which one. If we switch it to Beetle, I think that's the best retro art core. Now, is this the bin file or the Q file? Bin file, I guess this is Q. Here we go. Oh, shit. Okay. So this emulator does not work. There we go. Hi, Red12, how are you? There we go. And now, I can read the Japanese. That's what I like about retro work. Ken. A place believed to be Galactor's headquarters has been discovered deep in the mountains. Uh, 
Oh, well, I guess it's kind of... Okay, I guess it kind of, like, moves by too fast for that to work. But still, like... That's what I keep saying about AI translate, or technically it's on device. Okay, so it's... QQ game. Yep. What button? Okay, found it. Oh, I see, you just can't auto-fire. Fair enough. Yep. Fair enough. Well, this seems like it's worth about 2,000 yen. Or... Yeah, this seems like it's worth about 2,000 yen. I.e. about 20 bucks. And most of that would just be, like, the physical disc distribution. Okay. Now I know what button actually does what, so... This is real game time. And more importantly, I know that I can't auto-fire. Oh, okay. So, uh, X and A both auto fire. Or, uh, both screen together. You also have a screen clear move. Definitely easier than the uh, Konami game. I like this music. Very 90s techno. You know, for like quite literally a budget game, they put their ass into this, and I admire that. See, this is back in the day when you could get decent shit on a budget. There are like so many games I've had to play in a row where I'm just like mashing the button and my arm is kind of tired. Put my hands together. collecting things. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything, though. Oh, I did have a... Okay. I did have a thing. Okay. Oh, this is an established anime franchise. I did not even know that.
subscribe rhythm feed for 3ds i will uh i will do that next time This reminds me a lot of, um, like, Gunbird, or what was that called in America? Mobile Light Force. Or was it called Gunbird in America and Mobile Life Force in Japan? I forget. Or was it called something different in America and Gunbird and Mobile Life Force in just different I think it was called Mobile Light Force in America, though. It was by uh, XS Games. Really late uh, PS1. Oh, I can select any stage. Oh, okay. Next time I might select a different stage. I also must say I love the Xbox D-pad for exactly this kind of game. The Xbox controller, the original Xbox controller, is just a perfect one in my opinion. Actually, 
the Bandai logo at the beginning probably gave it away that this is an existing IP. Oh wait, but I'm a different ship, I think. Okay. Oh, this is... yeah, this is... one last game, and then I'm probably gonna head out. Let's play a game uh, Karumi requested a while ago, and I'm finally able to get to it. So there was Tokobot, and then there's Tokobot Plus. I think originally he wanted me to play Tokobot, but we're doing this. Oh, two stages per character. Yeah, this is one that Karumi requested a long time ago. I don't know what this is. I think it's... My understanding, it's it's like a really weird... Uh, version of Tokobot? Apparently, yeah. Tens of thousands of years have passed since then. The Honestly, the major thing is I searched for Tokobot again because the ROM I had didn't work and I think it was just corrupted. And I couldn't find it. But I found this, so I figured, alright, well, let's try Tokobot Plus. Alright, fuck 
story. It's getting late. The path of the treasure master. Bolt in the six tokobots. Oh my god, I am pronouncing that correctly. Good. I wasn't sure if it was Tokobot or Tacobot. I like Tacobot, honestly. I kind of wish it was Tacobot now. Um. I hear you've been training hard. I not Yoda. As a reward for all your hard work, I'm going to let you take the Treasure Master preliminary test. <laughs> How many, how many packs a day do you have to smoke to sound like that? The test will be as follows. There is a slate in the Valve Air Ruins that supposedly contains prehistoric secrets. Your test is to find this slate and bring it back here. Uh-oh. Oh, I wonder if, you know what, I wonder if that's why I thought it was a PS2 game and, or I thought it was a PSP game, or a PS2 game, and I put it in the PSP folder and that might be why it doesn't work. This is the preliminary test to be. No, if it was a PSP master. game, it wouldn't even show up. Uh, Mr. Kane, what about the Treasure Master test? Don't you think it's still too dangerous for Bolt? Wouldn't it be best to have him continue his training for? <laughs> why? Why are you saying uh oh, LCX? Is this is this really hard game? No fuel. Or really bad game? For someone known as the demon teacher among the trainees, you're quite the worry wart. For these sorts of things. Practice makes perfect. Besides, Bolt has a reliable companion in the Chocobot. It's true that if he uses the Tokobot well, Bolt should have as good a chance as anyone. Very well then. Bolt. Set off at once for the Valve Air Ruins. Once you've arrived, Let's this. We oh, okay. Long time no see, Bolt. How do you like riding on the flying ship? Be serious now, Ruby. Okay. About the Tokobots, you can use many of their abilities when jointing by pressing the square, triangle, or circle buttons. Joint is the process of pressing the R1 button in order to connect the Tokobots. Just press the R1 button when you want to joint. I'll send you a report too, so take a look when you can. Okay. That's it. That formation is joint. When the tokobots are linked together by the hands, that's joint. Don't forget it. Why would I not want it? To be I'm sure it'll be tricky at first, but once you learn how to joint, you'll be able to use jointing much more easily.
Oh, I see. How would they be? I think they were joined. They were joined. There's a strange looking rock there, right? In the laboratory, we call them magnets. Using the jointing toko attack at places like that will make the toko bots turn into a ladder you can climb. How did I do that? That's it. Like new little king story? Is that another game that's kind of like this? This was made by Techno. Okay. For Techno. How the Tokobots will help you climb around. Oh, I see. So it's so if you pulled down the R1 button and press one of the things. Feels like a very not Ecmo game, if that makes sense. 
like, around this time, they, they were, like, doing a lot more, like, kind of hardcore... Like, like, they were doing, like, the remakes, or, uh, like, the rebooted, like, Ninja Gaiden series and shit like that. Like, shit for, like, hardcore gamers, and then you have this kind of UT sort of game. It feels very unlike them. At pretty much any stage of their career post-1984. I'm not complaining, though, because this is pretty cool, honestly. I was gonna say it's like Pikmin. No, not really. It's... Well, I say not really. I say that also as somebody who never yeah. quite understood Pikmin. And was just massively confused by it. So. Yes. Oh, am I going back? Yes. You can also use toko attacks while jumping. If you jump and catch onto a magnet, you can reach higher platforms and cross wider gaps. Monster Race? Wait. Mos Monster Rancher exists? Was that another Tecmo game? That was kind of like in the style. Oh, also this was on Vita, apparently. Okay. Monster Rancher, I, I assume that's just like farming game. Stardew Valley. Oh, it's a monster raising game. Oh, monster raising sim. Okay. Is Tecmo behind that? Okay. Oh, that's a thing you can do. historical value. So the kingdom gives out rewards for them. Make sure to collect them if you find some. Oh yeah, like Tamagotchi. Morning fighting. Okay. So Pokemon. But with more life sim. Also known as Pokemon right. with more life sim elements. Right. Wait, what did it say these did? or prehistoric parts can be found hidden inside things like that.
That's a prehistoric switch. It takes more inspiration from Pokemon. The unique mechanic is literally insert any kiss into the wait. Literally insert any disc into the PS1 to summon new mods. Whoa, that's pretty cool. You can read data from any disc and generate. So the so like the game itself is so small that it just fits in the PlayStation's RAM, and you can just replace it with any disc, or it can put it in the uh, PlayStation's internal ROM, and you can just replace it with any disc. So it's like, yeah, there were a couple PS1 discs where like you could do that, but um, I'm trying to pre remember what the one. Bib Ribbon was the one immediately that I can think of where, like, the game was so small that it just fits in ROM, and you can, uh, just, like, replace it with any PlayStation CD. Or, uh, I mean, you can just replace it with any CD, and it'll, like, generate, uh, like, different patterns depending on, like, what music you have on the CD. There was another game that did something like that. Or, like, is it like that, or do you just, like, swap the disc and then swap Monster Rancher back in, and then it just, like, saves it to the memory card or something? Like, I don't know. You can press it using a Toko Stomp attack. Toko Stomp. Of course, you can also use a Toko attack. But the Toko Stomp is easier, so you should learn it now. I'll have Ruby send you a report on the Toko Stomp. To perform this action, joint together and press the circle button while jumping. Okay. forgot. Apparently you can't use jointing if you don't have many Tokobots. I wonder why. Maybe it has something to do with the Tokobots control system. Um, I mean, yeah, if you don't have any, that, that, that seems like it would be very difficult, yeah. I'll send you the report, so be sure to take a look.
is a pretty cool game. That's a prehistoric mechanical robot called a keeper. Hmm, that would be a beeper's type. Keepers are reportedly the protectors of the ruins. So is this Pikmin? And will attack investigators and robbers alike. I've not played enough Pikmin to know if this is Pikmin. It's dangerous to get too close. So use the V-formation jointing Toko attack to attack them from a distance. Are called prickles. Watch out for the spikes on its side. Bolt, their weak point is on top of their heads. Use a toko stomp or toko attack to hit them there. Is lined up, huh? Dead or alive? Volleyball. Well, oh yeah, with the uh, ECMO behind that. You can move them with the Tokobot's help. this time. At times like these, you should use the toko screw. Press the triangle repeatedly oh, while jointing to take them all out at once.
an obelisk. You can save your investigation's progress here. They're devices that were used for transport in the prehistoric. We used them in Kanewood's lab to make our own transport system. If you make sure to investigate the save point once, you can warp right to the save point from the lab. Oh, cool. Try investigating it right away. Do I have to return to the lab, or does it return me to the lab? Okay, I think it wants me. And then there's... Research records... Sources. Okay. So... I think that's good enough for now. That is a really fun game, honestly. Um... I don't know... I assume it's... I assume it's the same thing as Tokobot, but some quality of life improvements i don't know um anyway i think that's gonna be good enough for tonight roblox or minecraft the kind of game you would No, no, I, I do not like sandbox games like that. I, I'm, like, very much, I am very much not the creative type, no. <laughs> uh, I don't like, no, no. I've, I've tried Minecraft before. I've never tried Roblox, but I assume it's kind of the same, kind of similar deal. Um, but, yeah, no. No, you got me wrong. Anyway, 
Uh, is there anybody who's live? Anybody we can raid? Oh, Eugene's... Eugene. Oh, Roblox. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I did play Roblox. I played it on that uh, mobile thing. Yeah, I did play that. Black and white, if you can find it. I don't, uh, I don't know what black and white is, then. You don't mean, like, Pokemon black and white, right? No, you don't. Yeah, no, I did play, uh, Roblox. Yeah, it's like a bunch of, like, people can create games using the same engine. Yeah, I did play that on the, uh, mobile thing. Um, I believe I have... If I do, then it's not working. Okay. Oh, never mind. It is working. As soon as I go to copy the link. All right. Well, go raid Eugene. PC game where you're a god and raise a creature to wage war on other gods. Okay. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not typically into, like, more open-ended games like that. I usually kind of like games that have a bit more of a structure. But I guess I could try black and white. That could be fun. Anyway. Um, yeah, so Go Raid Eugene. He is playing, uh, possibly, he, he, he may end up beating Alien Isolation tonight. So, uh... If he has not already done that, uh, go uh, go over there and uh, wish him a GG whenever he does. Anyway, uh, so Tuesday will be Cave Story. Thursday will be more Persona 3 Reload. Uh, Saturday, no L Talks. Uh, I plan on uh, doing something. I plan on... Hanging out with Tyler, actually, assuming he's still available. And then on Sunday, I plan to do a uh, more rompery for you and me to see. Yippee. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. Cerulean, LCX, uh, Yugo, Slob, Video Game Nerd, Neo Phantom, uh... Levon, Ketsu, and Red12. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Good night. Bye, everyone.